So we are back to our reading of Shanti Gita and practically where Arjuna was totally lost in bereavement due to the death of his son, dear son of Himannu. And really everyone can understand who have any child what a pain one can bear, the separation due to death of one's own child, one's own son. So naturally, at this critical time, this advice from Krishna gave him the strength back to again engage himself into the fight. But what he taught is a message which we can apply in our life. In our life, we are always tormented by some type of suffering or pain all the time due to loss of some near and dear ones, due to some serious some health disorder or anything happens which disturbs our ourselves. So we are always under that spell of suffering and pain. So it is an universal message, but Bhagavan Krishna gave it here. It is the same message though, but you can find some uniqueness in that message that it is talking more of Vedantic procedure of treatment of the mind, mind treatment. We know that Vedanta teaches that pancha kosha, five koshas, and Atman is the core and it is covered by the five layers of bondage, what you call Pancha Kosha. So we know first coating is Ahankara, ego. Second coat is Buddhi, the intellect. Third coat is the mind. Fourth coat is the Prana, the energy, energy body. And fifth coat is the flesh and bone. So it is encased. The Atman is encased, as it were, in so many coverings. And because all these coverings are little diminishing the inner, inner joy, inner spirit, we don't find any peace here that we try, that is which my mind, my intellect, my ego, my body undergoes there my identification goes not naturally. So here, this here, this today, at least this point of time, we will read that part. Where yesterday we have touched it, but to know it a little elaborately. Sri Krishna says, that you have no relationship with the world. You are never one time there, you are not there in the world. Before your birth, you are not here. And after your death, you will not be here. So you are in between, you are here. And taking that in between existence and identifying there wrongly, you think you are suffering, you have problem, you have misery, your bereavement, but this is all you are happening in your mind. So, the whole focus is coming to body identification to mind identification. And we heard that Sri Krishna told yesterday that there was no son. Even you were not there. You were born. Then you bury someone, someone's parents they have a daughter and they married you. And you think he sees my wife or she thinks you are your husband. And then you get connected that way, identification, and it goes. And then son or daughter who is born, uh, uh, then they think you are your own. You think that that is your own. But there is no relationship with your body and mind, and this son, and this whatever, husband, wife, etc. Pasabaddha sayang bhutva. Thinking that you are Pasabaddha. 
entangled by this tie of mamata pasam. Here, here is the rope of tying rope is mamata. Mamata means mindness. Me is this, mine is this. You so many things in the world is there. But you have identified Mamata with minus, with certain things. Where you have identified your Mamata, I-ness, mindness, there is your joy or there is your suffering. The entire world works on that one phenomena, mindless, meanness. That's why Acharya Shankar, in the introduction of Brahma Sutra, our Bhagavad Gita, he said, Ahamidam Mamaidam. It is no shirgi ko vayang loko bhavahar. Ahamidam mamaidam. I and mine. It is no shirgi ko from time immemorial loko bhavahar. This behavior pattern which we are due to transactional world is only depending on me and mine. Shankara is very scriptic. In the very beginning, he has introduction. But the key point of our suffering or joy or attachment, whatever, is me and mine. So here, that part is Bhagavan Krishna is focusing. That, that no dehi tava sammandha. You have no identification with your own body because it was not there. It came and it will not be there. No dare shu shute nacha. Not to your wife or your child, what you are thinking. Pasubadya sayam bhutva, you have become entangled into the tie of this knot. Mukdhosi, you become overwhelmed. Why? Mamata gunai, due to the inherent quality of the mamata, mindness. So, therefore, durjayo mamata pasas, achiddha sura manavai, this, this, this pasha, this bondage, this tie, it is difficult to cut asunder. Even Deva Sura Manavai, gods and see, look at the gods, you think they are happy people? They are on a longer entanglement. Here we die in 100 years, you know, and if you go to the Pitri Loka, they live 100 years their lifetime, but one, our one year is one day for them. Now we see how long they will have to just be there. It's not a fun. Eh? And if you go to gods, they live much more. There may be our 10 years, may, I do not know that calculation, I do not know, but this calculation I know that our 365 days is one day for our four feathers. So, if they live 100 years there, so 365 times 100. That many human years they will have to live there. And then entanglement is there. Yeah, when you live anywhere, no? You, you, you migrate from one place to another place, no? You will have new resident of, of the neighboring people. And you get to know and this and, and start. Neighboring people is good. Neighboring people is not liking you. And then relationship. Then anger, frustration, joy, suffering. Then it is a, if we analyze life like that, we are we are migrated from somewhere, entered into the body, and this migrated body is moving around, and it has had whenever it comes, we we'll see how many people we met in our life from our childhood till today. You know, what is your friends when you are in class grade one, grade two? See, go to the grade one, grade two children. That's your friend. Well, I ask somebody, how many friends you have? Five I have. And then these five go away. And when they go into another grade. So this is the relationship. It grows this way. And we are constantly changing, changing, changing. And thinking this is the reality. So it is said, this is not so easy. Durjayo mamataha pasha. This pasha, this tie, this knot is achiddo. Very difficult to cut asunder. But not by human only, but sura, gods also. Gods, gods that just don't pray for going to heaven. If you go to heaven, then you have longer period stuck there. Only thousands and millions of years, maybe. 
human ears. Hmm? So, therefore, mugdhosi, you have become totally overwhelmed, consumed into that condition, and you are now is thinking that you are suffering. Therefore, not tang deho. Therefore, you are not the body. Analyze this. Oh, Mahabaho. Oh, Arjuna. Tapa putra katham. Putra katham bada. Where is your son then? You, you are not the body. You've done all relationship with the body, you know. If this body goes, what is the relationship? Therefore, your son, because you are not the body, the fundamental mistake is that I am the body. If the body is not there, so the relationship does not stand there. Sarvam tattva vichare no sarupam avadharaya. So the solution of this in one sentence Bhagavan gave Sarvam tattva. Therefore you renounce everything. Very strong words. Strong dose medicine is necessary when the disease is very, very powerful. <laughs> yeah, that time Arjuna will have fight this morning. Uh, to give a high dose uh, injection or <laughs> tablet or whatever you say. Because that time, strong argument, detach yourself, sarvang actor, give up everything. How will you give? Bichare, no. You cannot give up. It is not like giving up this, my uh, parts or something to someone. It is not gross that you cannot give. But only you can do it by bicharo. That's why it is called Vedanto. Stands on what? Vedantic experience will stand on a person. Shravana, manana, nididhyasam. You have to listen again and again, not one day. We know all these things. Reading these things again and again. How many times you open any talk of Sarvopriyananda? What do you hear? This. <laughs> so, 10 person is forgotten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine and you are ten. So forgotten. So identification, misidentification, the, the disowning your own self, you are wrong, wrongly interpreting things. So these are the common examples, but it is to be heard again and again and again. Svabana. Manana. Now you contemplate, you are hearing from the scripture. Sit quietly and analyze, is it true? This is this is the path of Vedanta is bichar. Day and night, huh? day and night to think Kalang night Vedanta Chintaya Ashukte Amrite Kalang night Vedanta Chintaya Ashukte means till you go to sleep. Susukti, you know? Ashukte Amrite. I have done yesterday. That will not have any effect. Done yesterday, today, then before that, future day, till you die, this body drops. Asupte Amrite, your time should be spent Kalang Nayat Vedanta Chinta. What is Vedanta Chinta? This is the Vedanta Chinta. In a nutshell, Natvang Deho, that's the one point. Again and again, again and again, though we know that it is so much changing, it is not the real. Because it is, if it is real, it will be unchanging. If it is real, it should not be dependent on anything. You stop your food, people before death, some people stop eating. And then die. Because you are not sub substantiating this body. So it should be nurtured by some. It can be killed. It can be just operated upon. But Atman cannot be operated upon. It is unchanging truth. So analyze this body is not tong deho mahavaho. So think this way very seriously. Analyze. The first analysis is I am not the body. Second analysis will be I am not the mind. I am not the prana. That we know. If you stop eating food, then your prana energy will dwindle down. And you see, people cannot think. That is the example in the Upanishad. This, this child was asked to uh, fast for a few days and come back and memorize this chant, the Bhagavad Gita, the Upanishad, what you have memorized. And he could not, brain is not catching it. It's forgetting. His memory is becoming weak. That depending on food. So your prana is depending on food. 
So what is dependent on something, what can be manipulated by something, what can be change can be brought, what can be destroyed for certain reason, that cannot be Atman, unchanging absolute reality. So this premises, keeping these premises, every day you servant taktwa means taktwa in the sense giving up the gross way, but it is mental, more for mind. Detachment is the question, no? In the, you go to the bank, the tailor who is sitting over there, eh? someone's bank account is one million today. Someone is withdrawing 50,000 suddenly. It matters little to the tailor, but it matters to the person who is withdrawing because he has the identification. He handles how much money every day? Throw some money, but he doesn't care. But his personal account, if something comes or something goes, it, it affects the personality. So this is the question that how it is functionality of the world is going on. It is to be critically analyzed and again and again, but again cloud will come. Again, you have to wash it. So, puna bicharena, bicharena sarupam avadhara. You have to understand who are you, your essential nature, and which is not you, which is you. Both ways, positive and negative way. Vedanta deals positive, <clears throat> negative and positive both way. Aham ne mano buddhi aham karo chittani naha. No, 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 no. But ultimate truth, chidananda rupa. I am of the nature of consciousness and bliss. So this should be two sides, should be parallelly focused so that it is not like going to some voidness, not going to something which is just a place of most suffering place, but it is when we detach from these small things and wrong identification, then we reach our inner self that is pure and that is stainless and that is all joy, that is eternal, unchanging, absolute. Now, so said so, Krishna said again that therefore Sarvang Taktva detach from everything. This Sarvang Taktva means detachment. Things will be there. Suffering comes because of attachment. If the suffering goes away, detached. In our life, you see something which is bothering too much because you pay value to that. You say one day, I don't care for it. It loses its strength. This is the science. That's we have to learn how to pay less important, less value to the thing which is changing. It will happen. Will be momentarily affected, but we'll have to come out of that. Holding on to that will never give the solution of freedom. So here he says, after saying so, you Sarupa Mabudharo, your Sarupa is Sachidananda, hold on to that, and Deho, and this is the subtle body mind, is you are not that, therefore don't have your child that is also mental, you have no body yourself. Where your child will come, analyze this very seriously and sarbak taktva, detach from everything, then he will be able to reach that goal. But Arjuna said, like us, always as we say, all the good discussions we hear from our great Swamiji's and said, then the question goes, but. So here is also but. So Arjuna said, Inkarami Jagannatha. Oh, Jagannath, oh, Lord of the universe, what shall I do? I am helpless. King Karuni Jagannath, Shokeno Dajate Manaha. My mind is in fire, scorching my mind. My mind is scorched. My mind is scorched by what? Na Shokeno. That, that pain and agony and bereavement, which due to the loss of my son, I cannot express you. You don't understand what is going on in my mind. True. As his son is just the bright son like Abhiman, such a courageous person, a person of strength, valor, energy, beauty, and all expert in so many fields. Uh, so losing that type of precious jewel as it were is a loss to the society also. What the question of the individual, no? 
ইন <laughs> spontaneously in my mind so i am i cannot pay even hold on for a second my peace uh, in this way chinta parang mano nittam my mind is always unconsciously it is thinking of that and dhoyjam na lahate kshanam dhoyjam perseverance or patience i cannot be patient thinking no 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 this has not happened is my no i cannot do that so upayam badame krishna to this subject what is the upay what is the way where the way wait out where is the way out please tell me i am not trying to think but a thought is taking position of me it is just not leaving me unconsciously it forces me to think about that i am a slave of my condition so what shall i do upayam badame krishna you know by which shoka this bereavement this anxieties and eh, this worries and this pain will be sammati will get pacified how we can be pacified by it? now again the response already we have discussed so it will be repeated again again bhagavan says manasi shoka santapto মানুষের you are saying my mind is in pain you are the drashta tang pashyasi you are observing this you are the observer you are the sakshi this is the object object subject you are the subject you are the witness consciousness drashta oshi tang mano nahi mon is not mon is not observing Moon cannot, moon is dull, jada, matter, insentient. That's why my mind can be agitated, mind can be, give a boosting. We are in the hand, puppet in the hand of the world because someone says some sweet words to me, my mind says, ha, 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 and it jumps. And mind says something, little something, and I get depressed, no? Are you, why? I am not getting depressed, it's mind. Mind is so, if you give some good food, in the body it reacts one way yeah it gets very heavy um, what you call this spices food and your tongue burns like that it will be reaction in the body but you are the drashta you say my tongue is burning but you are thinking i am burning hurry separate out tongue drashta oshi the one word is enough tongue drashta oshi জড়া is a matter everywhere the poly formula will be consciousness will be the observer observed will be jada matter because there is only one consciousness whatever you are seeing it is only in appearance so he says drashta drishya pithak naya you know drashta the observer and the drishya the observed the visible universe name and form whatever comes to our eyes 
in the physical world, mental world, whatever imagination comes, you are observer of that. Even your meditation is an, let's say Vedanta does not give too much value for meditation. This is a lower type of students do meditation. <laughs> we have to our students, that is good to at least practice meditation. But anyhow, from Vedantic standpoint, yeah, meditation is lower type because meditation is what? You are, you are bringing into your mind some image of divine image. Okay. But that is also imagining something and you are observing that. You are trying to observe your Ishta Devata. Your Ishta Devata is Sati, super Sati. But it is within the range of Satta Guna. Three Gunas that constitute the whole Maya, this Maya universe. Gross, subtle, causal, entire universe falls in this region of the three. So, itara itaram pashyati, if there is a slightest of dif distinction and difference between you and the truth, that is not that absolute truth. That is duality. So, but it's a high level of duality. Uh, if one sees Ramakrishna, bas, uh, it's very close to the absolute. The absolute has taken the form of Ramakrishna. That's why going up that much is great spiritual development. But for Vedanta, absolute Vedanta student, that's also not important. No? So here he says, Drish, Drishta, Drishat, Pithak, Naya, on this logic, on this reasoning, that Drishta and Drisho, they're always separate. Drisho cannot be Drishta, Drishta cannot be Drisho. Even after Brahma Gyanu, when they come back, there is a separation. Seer and seen. And there is that phrase, Brahma Gyan is also in Jivan Muktas also. They cry, they weep, they smile, they, they react, act, they become angry, they become happy, they become unhappy. Because it's again coming into the level of the mind. Not that dirty mind like us, but it's a purer mind. But purer mind is Sattiko mind. So that Sattiko mind that is a higher level that gives greater peace and joy. So, in Vedantic perspective, meditation, vision, experience, and good, but it has no ultimate value. They say, no, there is still you are seeing with Dosta Disho. You are having some experience, you saw a light. You saw a light, that means you are different and light is different. And seeing some to the media, what media helped you? That media is your mind. So, that is the point question here, that drashta, drishat, pithak, naya on this logic tong prithak, chavilakshana you, real you are prithak, separate they are totally different from the objective universe in which you live and only abhivekat manu bhutva, dagdha viti manu se you are thinking it is your thought I am getting tormented. That is your thought because of Viveka. That is the Vedanta. Always vichara, vichara, vichara. Huh? Indiscrimination is the cause of suffering. Proper discrimination separates the us from the suffering of life. So it is uh, Abhiveka, Manu, Bhutva. And you are only thinking. And you know, your four faculties as we talked yesterday, mind, intellect, ego, and ego. Mind, intellect, memory, and the ego. The four faculties. They are antakaranam ekam. That's called antakarana. These four together is called antakaran. And tatcha chatur vritti shavannitam. It has four types of expressions. Vritti. As I said, what are that? Mana, mind, buddhi, intellect, your ego and the remembering faculty. But what is called mind? Manasankalpa rupam. Mind always says, I like this, I want this, I don't like it. So it is sankalpa and pikalpa. Buddhi, buddhistha nishchayatmika. Buddhi intellect says, no. Shall I go or not go? I'm thinking. Last few days I'm thinking, shall I do it or not do it? Shall I do that? Now I have decided that I will do. So long I was in the level of mind when it's not 
directly accepting what to do. Buddhi gives us the determination. That's your determination faculty, determinative faculty. Mind is fluctuating faculty. It, it, it cannot decide. So it is the boss of the mind. Actually, buddhi directs the mind. Therefore, dhiyo yo na prachodayat, we pray that, oh, oh Lord, please guide our dhi. As the dhi, as the buddhi, so our journey. So in the car, the dhi is buddhi. Who is buddhi? Who is the driver? And if the driver plan is that mind connects with that and operates with the sense organs, then the wheel car moves. So buddhi is the determinative faculty and that's and buddhi should be directed towards God. But buddhi is directed towards the body, mind and the objective universe and that is creating so much of suffering. So he says, I am anusandhat mekang chittam. That chitta is anusandhat mekang. Just to inquire, what is this? And from the old stock of your memory, it brings out, oh, this is this. I saw you. I had a picture in my subconscious. And when I see this information goes, and mind present, mind cannot say what is what, what is what. It goes to buddhi. Buddhi brings the album out and matches. Eh? In your computer, you just just give and it brings similar so many pictures, no? So it is like that. Here is already this computer is made because of this computer. So this computer then brings out the image and you match with that. Then you say yes, this is called Subhas. This is called this. So whatever name it comes, name and form connects. So this is the another faculty that is the Nushandhatmikam Chittam and Ahamkara, I, I understand. I will do this. I don't do this. I, that's also another faculty of the Antakkaran. So these are the four faculties of mind. Eh? Mind functions in four. And to look at that, how they are functioning. What is their origin? They are Panchabhutaangsa Sambhuta. Your mind has come out of what? Production of the five bhutas. Whatever we are, that's why it's called sattika food creates sattika mind. Isn't that? Rajasika food makes rajasa mind. Tamasika food creates tamasa mind. So this food constitutes the physical body on one side. But also it has a subtle part, which is called the sattika, rajasika, tamasika. That means we take prasad. It's called sattika. When you are preparing the food with repeating the holy name of the Lord, it becomes the vibration goes, it is called sattiko. No. In sattiko, food items are different. That is not, I'm not going to that. But these are all connected with your mind, how you are teaching, it becomes purer or impure. Some food may be done by a very bad uh, a person who does very nasty things in life and very brutal or unkind and you see, you would get food prepared by that. You will feel, if you are sattika, you can feel the difference of the food with another thing which is coming from prasad or offered by uh, by repeating purer thinking. So it's subtle effect. So mind, they say, pancha bhuta ansa sampuva. Sambhuta. This, our mind is a product. Product of the five elements in a subtler level. Gross level makes the gross body. It is a subtle part which makes the subtle body. That means in a, our real mind behind is created by the pancha bhuta. Five elements, air, water, fire, uh, space and what is that? Shiti of taste, marud, bomb. These five elements in the gross form creating this gross body. A subtle portion is creating the subtle body. So you see these are composed of elements. Your mind is the cause of suffering. And this mind is created by the five elements. Which is created by the feminine elements. It should be bikari. It's, it, it must have to change. Anything you create in the world, it will have some transformation. It will decay. It will die out one day. It can be manipulated. Bikari. Drishya. You see your mind. Mind, you are the observer. We see 
when you close your eyes and meditate here, don't you see your mind? The mind is going here, mind is going there, mind is going. You are the observer of the mind. You are not the mind. Every day's practice teaches us that there is an observer. And the mind, you are observing the mind where it moves around. Now it is going here and there. Mind is the link. But now it is working through the senses. Senses are the horses. They are connecting with that. The horse rein is connected with the, with the, the reins of the mind. So all the organs are functioning because of mind. But mind itself is observed by something. So mind is created by the five elements. So how to bichar every day in our life? We How we'll practice that is the way. The practice is here. Every day to think, whatever food I am taking, that's why Shankaracharya said that food taking only, the mouth is not the food taking. We take food to our five sense organs. We take food to the eyes, take food to our ears, tongue, touch, all these things. So everything, when it is pure, then pure mind generates. Impure, it becomes impure. But this drosta is not impure or pure. One, one observer is untouched. It is happening. So this mind to understand, it is not permanent. It is composed by the five elements, made of five elements, and it is bikari, it changes. It is chanchala. It is like a monkey. Mind is always jumping from one to the other. Can you stop it? If you stop, then you are a Drashta, you merge with the drashta. Tada drashtu hu avasthanam. When the mind jumping, monkey mind stops. It's jumping nature. Then tada, in that point of time, drashtu hu, the witness consciousness who is there, it remains in its own nature. Patanjali is the very first verse, no? Tada drashtu swarupe avasthanam. So you want to get established in your swarup, then look at the mind. Mind is chanchala. It is all, all the dis distracted all the time. It cannot, it does not know how to stop or sit somewhere. And it always jumps, 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 jumps. And it is made of the five elements. And anything made of any, anything, any, any, any item subject to distraction and decay. Therefore, you are not the mind. This is the path, bichara path. Huh? It is a very uh, other path of bhakti is something different, but jnana path is to vicharo. And day and night, if one analyzes, this clarity will come. So, whatever happening in the mind, I will say it is made of the elemental things, it is changeable, it will change also. So, why I am not that, I am the observer of that, I should not connect with that and get affected by that. Just as giving the example, when my finger burns, in the fire, I, say, I am burning. Finger is burning. I know this body is not me. Because finger is burning, finger will cure. We put ointment and whatever the treatment you do. So it has because it has changes in the body. And change can be corrected. It will be pure. But I remain the same. Whether it burns, I, the observer, is the same. And when it is cured, that's also I am the same. So the mind is disturbed, I am the same. Mind was peaceful, that time also I am the same. So I am the drashta witness. Think day and night and feel that as you don't make this aviveka, in this discrimination, in discrimination, don't make that. We always live in that awareness that not to analyze the thing properly and we take a mistaken identity with this. Therefore, and Jagrat, Sukha, Dukkha, etc. Even another example given that only two minutes, three minutes are there. So, uh, when you are, if, if you say the mind is showing this universe, no? We are all seeing you, seeing this hall, listening or feeling anything. It is all happening in the mind. Where goes this mind? Where goes this world? If someone just comes and puts an injection to put you to sleep for some time, 
what happens? This world will vanish instantly. You have full control. Outside object, outside medicine, outside impact can make anyone just stop this functioning of the mind. So if someone has the power to stop this, how can it be independent nature of ours, undying nature, absolute nature, absolute peaceful state? That cannot be. Therefore, if, when the, we go to deep sleep, this mind gets to sleep. And the whole world goes to sleep. Concept of our whole world, this visible world, dream world, all merges into that. If that is so, and then comes up when the mind wakes up, but it's happening, the whole world is happening in the mind then. Very reasonable point. If we quietly think on this point, that really there is a serious uh, experience that, that I am seeing this universe. Just someone put some uh, sleeping medicine or or some anesthesia. Instantly, one, two, three, four, five, and it's gone. And where does the whole world go? My perception, the world of perception, my world of anxieties, worries, or happiness, or whatever, my bank balance, my account, my PhDs, my degrees, my de this, all this. Uh, good health, bad health, all this. What does it vary? Mustiki Mahatam. It as, as, as it spontaneously just goes into the void, as it were. That means mind, it is depending on the mind. It's a very, very critical analysis is that that everything is depending on my mind. I perceive you in the coloring of my mind. You are a good man, good person. I think no. Why he looks like that? You are just putting your own mental conjecture and, and judging a person from your perspective. That's why we judge people because our mind is unclean. Holy Mother used to see that the Dekoit, Muslim Dekoit, and Sami Sarodananda and Sami Vivekananda, they're all my children. And why we see this is required. This is in my mind. I am the correct correction is here because I have projected my mind in this, and the five elements have action. Satyarajatamo is impacted on that, and mind becomes clouded mind. That is giving me the and everyone's lens gives the individual vision of the same object. Object remaining same outside. It is all Brahman. I am seeing it through the lens of my. Uh, now is a virtual uh, glass and someone is saying virtual glass and you can feel everything is real you can touch it and interact there no but take out the glass where is go you know it's just a ma magical thing so this is the mind is to be observed by the atman mind is something separate from me because of the reason it is temporary, it is built up by something, it can be destroyed by somebody, it can be acted by something, and it change, it die when it stops functioning, world vanishes. The world is then world is Maya and mind is Maya. And we have to work on that again and again. That is the advice here. We end here. Thank you all.